With the historic running of the 150th Melbourne Cup less than one week away, world-renowned English trainer Luca Kamani was a special guest for Tuesdays at the G last night. The Italian-born and bred trainer has potentially three horses running in next week's Cup and here's what he had to say. So when I went to England the first time, I couldn't speak a word of English and I went to work for a great guy called John Winter and uh, there was a Japanese guy in there and he couldn't speak a word of English either. So all the English people went giving us the time of day at all, they were just not interested in us. So the two of us ended up every evening going to the pub, the Japanese fella and I, and using sign language. <laughs> <laughs> it's an amazing place. If you, if you can't train winners in Newmarket, you can't train them anywhere. Um, there are 3,000 acres of grass gallops and countless, countless artificial gallops and canters, polytracks and fiber sands, and you name it. And um, there's various different inclines, there's, you can go uphill, you can go left, you can go right, you can go upside down if you wish, you can do anything you like. <laughs> and so if you, if you can't train there, really you ought to give up. It'd be nice to think so, but I think it's very improbable, you mustn't forget that I'm Italian, and, and therefore I'm all, more likely to train for the Pope than the Queen. <laughs> and Australia breeds for, for speed. Yeah. Um, as everybody always tells me, the, the golden slipper is the race everybody wants to win. So if you're breeding that kind of horse and you breed them in large numbers, um, you have a, a solid base to the pyramid from which the top horse, the best one of that, of that sprinting division, will be very good anywhere in the world. Whereas in England we don't tend to breed sprinters, we, we tend to breed more milers to a mile and a half. The range everybody wants to breed is, is sort of from the Guinness to the Derby, being, being somewhere in that range. Terry rang me and he said, we bought this horse, when you see him, don't, don't be shocked. And I said, what's wrong with it? He said, well, he's not exactly pretty. And I said, okay, fine. And uh, he's not exactly pretty. <laughs> But I'll tell you what he is, he is extremely athletic, he's extremely, he's a hell of an easy walker and he trots like a ballerina and he canters very light on his feet. He's a beautiful, beautiful mover, so what he doesn't have in looks he has in athleticism. That's difficult to say, but um, I, I always maintain that any horse that is the tops in any major racing nation can be tops in any other, if you see what I mean. In other words, the best English horse can be tops in Australia or in America and vice versa. So I would say that if he was to come to England and race in the mile and a quarter races, the 2,000 meter races, such as the Eclipse or the Judgment and the Champion Stakes, he'd probably be, probably be very effective and probably have, mm. would have a very good chance. Ever since I've been here for the first time, I realized that this is the greatest racing event uh, on earth. It's the biggest show, as far as racing goes, on earth, from the point of view of people involvement, um, media involvement, and, and, and everything else. You don't get this kind of build-up, and you don't get that many people involved and talking about a race anywhere else in the world, as, you, as, as much as you get here. And... Um, that's one of the, the attractions of it. It's, it's, any job you do, you, you, you want to feel that you're doing a job that is of interest to as many people as possible. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the inside word from international trainer Luca Kamani ahead of next week's Emirates Melbourne Cup. Make sure you stay tuned for all the latest news and information of the 2010 Spring Racing Carnival.